Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about direct variation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So in each of the following, y varies directly as x. Find the values indicated. So example number 1 class, if y equals 12 when x equals 4, find y when x equals 12. Now before answering this one class, is you need to understand what is direct variation. In direct variation class, if your x increases, your y also increases. If your x decreases, your y also decreases. So in direct variation class, x is directly proportional to y or y is directly proportional to x. If your x increases, your y also increases. As your x decreases, your y also decreases. Example number one class, if y equals 12 when x equals 4, Find y when x equals 12. So as you can see, class, our x values increases, right? From 4, it becomes 12. So therefore, you already have an idea that your y answer should be greater than 12. That your y should increase. Why is that, sir? Because our x values increases from 4, it becomes 12. So therefore, our answer should be greater than 12. So that's the thing there, class, in direct variation. So for number 1, you already have the idea that your answer should be greater than 12. But to solve this one class, very easy. First thing to do is you need to find the value of k. So you write this equation class y varies directly as x. So you can write that as y equals kx. Once again, y varies directly as x. You can write that one as y equals kx. So first thing to do class is you find k using the first statement. If y equals 12 when x equals 4, you find k in that statement. And once you get k, simply substitute k from the second statement. Okay, let's solve that one, number 1. So if y equals 12, so y equals 12, simply substitute the value of y, that is 12. So 12 equals, so you find k, so just write k class because you need to find k. Now if you have kx, it means k times x. k times x is just the same with kx. So if your y is 12 and your x is 4, so your x is 4, so multiply it by 4. So find k to get the value of k, divide both sides by 4. Divide both sides by 4, so cancel this out. Once again class, to find k, you divide both sides by 4 so that the remaining equation on the right side of this equal sign is just k. So divide by 4, divide by 4, so 12 divided by 4, that is 3, then equals k. So that's the answer class for our k. Now once you get k, simply substitute this k from the second statement. So once again, your equation is y equals kx. So you are told to find y. So find y. So copy, simply copy y since we are told to find y. And your k is 3. So your k is 3. Then multiplied by your x is 12. So x is 12. And your y is equals to 3 times 12, that would be 36. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 1. Easy, right? For direct variation. So that's the thing there, class. The first thing that you need to do is you need to find k. Okay, find k using this equation. And once you get k, simply substitute k from the second equation in which y, find y when x equals 12. So that's the thing there. So our answer for number 1. That is y equals 36. So y equals 36. That's the answer for number 1. Easy, right? For number 1. Alright. So our y also increases. From 12, it becomes 36. Our x increases, so therefore our y also increases. Alright. So let's try number 2. So once again, you find k using the first statement. If y equals negative 18 when x equals 9, so simply substitute, your y is negative 18. So y is negative 18 equals copy k, then our x is 9, so your x is 9, so multiplied by 9. So once again, to get the value of k, you divide both sides by 9. Once again, sir, why is it 9? So that the remaining equation on the right side, the class, will be only k. So once again, divide equations by 9, not 18 plus. Once again, do not divide equations by 18. You divide it by 9. Why is that, sir? Because the, the number beside k is 9. 
So, you divide it by 9, so the term in equation will be only k. So, divide it by 9. So, you can cancel this out. And negative 18 divided by 9. So, negative 18 divided by 9. Once again, negative divided by positive. That would be negative. So, once again, class, unlike signs, if you're multiplying or you're dividing unlike signs, the answer is always negative. So, negative 18 divided by 9, that's negative 2, equals k. Alright, so that's the answer for k. Now, once you get k, simply substitute this k from this equation. So, find y when x equals 7. Once again, you are told to find y. So, simply copy y equals your k is negative 2. So, negative 2 multiplied by your x. Find y when x equals 7. So, your x is 7. Alright, and then you multiply y equals negative 2 times 7. So, negative times positive. If you're multiplying unlike signs, the answer is always negative. So, negative 2 times positive 7, that's negative 14. Alright, and that's it. Class. That's your answer for number 2. Easy, right? For number 2. So, y equals negative 14. Alright, that's the answer for number 2. Class. So, let's try number 3. So, I hope you're still with me, class, for this one, the recuperation. Very easy for the recuperation. Alright, so, if y is equals to 3 when x equals 10, find x when y equals 1.2. So, we already have a decimal. So, first thing to do, you substitute. First statement, if y equals 3 when x equals 10. So, y equals 3. So, y is 3 equals, copy k, then multiplied by x is equals to 10. So, x is equals to 10. So, to get the value of k, divide both sides by 10. Once again, to get the value of k, divide both sides by 10. So, that the remaining equation on the right side will be only k. So, divide it by 10, divide it by 10. So, cancel this out. And our k is 3 over 10. So, k is equals to 3 over 10. Once again, plus 3 over 10 equals k. You can write that 1k equals 3 over 10. That's the same class. Do not be confused with this one class. This is just the same. k equals 3 over 10 is just the same with 3 over 10 equals k. This is just the same. Now, check this one class. Can we divide 3 by 10? Nope. We cannot divide because if we divide, we get a decimal answer and it will be really more complicated if you're dealing with decimal class. So, if you, can, if you will divide this one and you get a decimal answer, do not do that one class because it will be really complicated if you're dealing with decimals. Now, next question. Can we reduce? So, is it necessary, sir, to reduce the fraction to its lowest term? Yes, class. That's actually mandatory that you always reduce the fraction to its lowest term. But since we cannot reduce this 3 and 10, since we cannot reduce this 3 and 10, 3, we can divide it by 3, but 10, we cannot divide it by 3. So, that would be our final answer for k. Now, once you get k, you simply substitute this k from this equation. Alright, so find x when y equals 1.2. So, y equals 1.2. So, 1.2 equals your k is 3 over 10. So, 3 over 10x, alright, times x. So, 3 over 10 times x, so... First thing to do, class, you multiply. So, this will be 1.2 equals... So, once again, class, you multiply this x from the numerator. So, 3 times x, that would be 3x, then over 10. 3x over 10, class, is just the same. Once again, 3x over 10 is just the same with 3 over 10 times x. Because if you multiply this one, 3... You multiply it on the numerator class. Once again, you, this x here, you multiply it in the numerator. So, 3 times x, that would be 3x, then copy over 10. So, next thing class, you can do two solutions class. So, I will simplify this one with two solutions. So, we can use the property, multiplication property of equality, or we can do the cross multiplication. So, we will explain the two solution class. Because in this, if I will be answering this one class, I will use the property multiplication property of equality but once again many of the students will be confused with these equalities so let's let's have the two solutions so first solution class you can multiply the equations okay the right and left by 10 so why is that sir so that we can cancel this 10 
So first solution class, we use the property, multiplication property of equality. You multiply the equation by 10 so that we can cancel this then. So 10 divided by 10, that is 1. So we can cancel this out. And 10 times 1.2, so 1.2 times 10, let's multiply 10 times 1.2. So 2 times 0, that is 0. 2 times 1, that is 2. 1 times 0, that is 0. 1 times 1, that is 1. So you add 0. So you add this one, this is 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. Then copy 1. Then you, cap, you count plus how many decimal places. So we have 1. So point, so add one point here. So count number of decimal places. We have one. So from this point, you move one point. So twelve. The answer is twelve plus ten times one point two. The answer is twelve. Okay. I hope you see this one plus. Okay. Two times zero is zero. Two times one is two. One times zero is zero. One times one is one. So you add zero. Then two plus zero is two. Then bring down one. Alright, since you count how many decimal places, we have one decimal places, therefore, starting from this point, or the whole number, you move one point, right to left. So, our answer is 12. So, 10 times 1.2, that is 12. Alright, so 10 times 1.2, that is 12. And this will be 12. So, 10 times 1.2, that is 12, equals copy TX. And to get the value of x, you divide both sides by 3. Divide by 3, divide by 3. So cancel this out. 12 divided by 3, that is 4, equals x. So our x is equals to 4. You can write this one, x equals 4. That's the same plus. 4 equals x, or x equals 4, that is just the same. So that's the answer for number 3 plus. x equals 4. So let's try the other solution class. Once again, there are so many students, they are so confused with these properties of equality. So this is what we call multiplication property of equality. You multiply left and right of the equation by 10. So let's try the other solution class. Let's do the cross multiplication. Alright, so this is 1.2 equals 3 times x, that is 3x, then copy over 10. And then you cross multiply class. Understood that the whole number, there is a denominator of 1. So you can put over 1 there. That's actually the same. 1.2 over 1 is just the same with 1.2. So any whole number, you can put denominator of 1. Then you cross multiply class. Cross multiply. Alright. So cross multiply 1.2. This will be 1.2 times 10 equals 3x times 1. So that would be 3x times 1. So, 1.2 times 10, that is 12. We multiplied that a while ago. This is 12 equals 3x times 1, that is 3x. So, to get the value of x, you divide both sides by 3. Divide by 3. And our answer is 12 divided by 3, that is 4. So, 4 equals, then copy, x. Cancel this 3 and the remaining will be x. So, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Then copy x. So our x is equals to 4. You can write, once again, class 4 equals x. We can write that one x equals 4. So same answer, class. So it depends on you which do you prefer, class. You can do the multiplication property of equality or you can do the cross multiplication. Alright, so let's try number 4. So I hope you're still with me, class, for number 4. So number 4, let's try this one. If y is equals to one third when x equals one half, find y when x equals nine. So we do have fractions class, quite complicated. All right, so let's try this one. Y equals one third. So one third equals find k. So write k. Then our x is one half. All right, so y equals one third and our x is one half. So we need to find k. So to find k, we can divide both sides by one half. So once again, class, we do have two solutions for this one. So we will explain the two solutions, class. It depends on you, class, which do you prefer. So once again, first solution, we can use the multiplication property of equality. So let's try the first solution, class. So first thing to do, to cancel this 1 over 2, you can multiply both sides by 2 over 1. Why is that, sir? 
by 2 over 1 or you can multiply both sides by 2. Why is that, sir? Or let's try 2 over 1 class. By 2 over 1. Why is that, sir? Because 2 divided by 2, you can cancel this out. Okay, 2 divided by 2, you can cancel that out. Okay, so 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 1 divided by 1 is 1. So you can cancel this out. You can actually multiply the equations by 2 class, just 2. Okay, we can have, we can multiply it by 2. So 2, why is that, sir? Because 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we can cancel it out. Now, once you multiply 2 on the right side, you also do that on the left side. Alright, so 2, can we cancel 2 and 3? Nope, we cannot cancel 2 and 3. So just simply multiply class 2 times 1 is 2. Then copy 3 equals k. So that's the answer for k class 2 over 3. So you can do that solution class multiplication property of equality so k is equals to 2 over 3 once again we can write this one k equals 2 over 3 so that's the value of k class all right or we can have the solution second solution class once again let's do the two solutions class because it depends on the students because there are so many students that are so confused with this properties of equality so second solution so y equals one third equals k then x equals one half so multiply so to get the value of k you can divide left and right by one half so divide it by one half divide it by one half so you can cancel this out because one half divided by one half is one so you divide this one class one over three divided by one half so once again, if you're dividing fractions, you cannot divide the fractions directly. You need to get the reciprocal of the divisor, then you proceed to multiplication. I hope you remember this one class in fractions. You cannot divide the fractions directly. You need to get the reciprocal of the divisor, then you proceed to multiplication. So this will be 1 over 3, copy. Then get the reciprocal of 1 half. So just make this 2 will be your numerator. And this 1 will be your denominator. So 2 over 1. The reciprocal of 1 half, that's 2 over 1. Then you proceed to multiplication. So 1 over 3 times 2 over 1. Alright, and then you multiply the numerator. 1 times 2 is 2. Then 3 times 1 is 3. So therefore, 1 over 3 divided by 1 half, the answer is 2 over 3. So same answer class a while ago. Our k is equals to 2 over 3. Alright, so that's the value of k class 2 over 3. Same answer a while ago. Alright, so our k is 2 over 3. So k is equals to 2 over 3. Now, once you get k, simply substitute k from this equation. So this is y. So find y when x equals 9. So y, you are told to find y. So copy y. Then our k is 2 over 3 times 9. So, 2 over 3 times 9. So, once again, you have two solutions in this one. First solution, you can cancel this 9 and 3 because we can divide 9 and 3 class. 9 divided by 3, that is 3. So, 9 divided by 3, that is 3. So, our answer will be, so instead of 9, it becomes 3. So, 9 divided by 3, we can divide this one. So, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, 2 times 3, that is 6. So, our y is 6 class. So, therefore, our y is 6. So that's the answer for number 4 class. y is equals to 6. Now if you're confused with that one, another solution, y equals, your k is 2 over 3. Then your x is 9, so times 9. So if you're confused in dividing 9 and 3, because you can divide this one class. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Or if you're confused with that one, go ahead class. You can multiply 2 times 9, that is 18. So 2 times 9, that is 18. Then understood that 9 here has the denominator of 1. So once again, any whole number, there is a denominator of 1. So 2 times 9 is 18. 3 times 1 is 3. 18 divided by 3, that is 6. Same answer class. It depends on you class, which do you prefer. But for me, it's better to divide 9 by 3. And the answer is 3. So that's it class. That's it. That's how you solve the recuperation. So I hope this video helps. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.